So hi guys. Um, just wanting to reach out and kind of give some people who are looking for um, some kind of interaction as far as how to apply to diagnostic sonography program, AKA ultrasound. Um, I've heard it's a fairly growing field. Everything is today. Um, and I hadn't found a lot of information as far as the process and um, how people um, experienced it, I guess, each individual person. And I only really found one person who actually gave me insightful information. Um, I believe her name is Brian Family. Um, I'll double check and try to put it down here. Um, this is my first video. So pop my little video, Cherry whatever. But um, yeah, so for the program itself, um, they usually have an information information session that you um, go to where you get all the information as far as the prerequisites, like what the courses and everything, the program itself will entail, things of that nature. Um, I applied to two different schools. Um, and each one kind of wanted similar things. There was one school that required you to have either an associates in one of these allied health um, programs or uh, a bachelor's, but the other school um, actually just wanted you to um, fulfill prerequisites as far as like a couple of classes. Both did want anatomy and physiology, physics, and I believe like English and speech or something like that. And then other things vary by what the school like requires. Um, so I went to both information sessions. I um, went ahead and sent in my application. I actually turned it in kind of early, which I don't know if it helped me, but I'm a worry wart. So I feel like it might have um, because I got my interview fairly quick. Um, or I, you know, after the due date, they used, they called me like the next day and asked me to set up an interview. Um, so for both schools, really, um, they usually just ask you uh, general questions as far as what do you think like sonography is about? Um, what do we use sonography for? Um, why do you think you're a good candidate for this school? Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, Oh, I think they also asked um, something similar to inter like uh, job interview questions, like um, when was a time you had stress and how did you deal with it? Things like that. So kind of typical. Um, it wasn't very in-depth. I thought it was going to be more in-depth, but it wasn't, thank God. And that was on both interviews. They just asked me what I thought about a sonography, like um, what did they use it for? Um, given a time uh, where they where I felt like I was in a stressful environment and I managed it well. Um, and there might have been like one other question, but it was all just very basic. It wasn't anything in depth. Um, and then at one school that I applied for, they actually had a listening component where they give you the list or they t say it to you really. Um, they give you a list of instructions that they say verbally. They only say it one time and then you have to implement or like, you know, follow, do what they pretty much just told you to do. And I don't know, I did bad on that. I know I did bad on that. I didn't get very far, but um, after the interview process, I pretty much found out one school I found out like, well, it was my fault. I Like they emailed me like two or three days later. I just didn't check my email until like later that week. And then the other school, um responded to me like the next day so i mean it was a fairly quick turnaround as far as like whether or not i was accepted or rejected or what have you um so i was glad for that because i like I said, i'm a worry war and i would have been freaking out or i was freaking out really because i was sure i wasn't gonna get in and then um let's see and then after that um pretty much uh, you let them know that you're accepting the position um, within the program. And then after that, you have your orientation a few um, weeks later. And in orientation, they pretty much just go over the expectations of what they want you um, to achieve at the end of the program, um, like guidelines. Um, you sign a whole bunch of papers, of course, all that 
just it's almost like starting a job type thing. You just like sign a whole bunch of papers. I mean, they do give you like information um, as far as uh, what to expect in the courses and things like that. They um, let you know what they need as far as like shot records. There is drug screening. Um, background check is also done. Um, you, I know for my school, we have to have insurance because we're gonna be in a clinical site and um, they want to make sure that you know we're covered and things like that uh i did get accepted into both schools like i said and um i am going to uh hcc it's uh here in houston and so far i mean it's only literally it's been like two days but i mean i'm like i'm liking it so far i'm excited i know i have a friend or yeah, I have a friend um, who's in it and she let me know that it was going to be very hectic. And I mean, so far, the information that they've given us, like we're pretty much jumping right into it. But I am grateful for the opportunity to be doing this, to be, you know, advancing myself and moving on to, you know, big, better things, all of that hoo-ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just want kind of wanted to give like overview, like if you have questions, you can post comments and what have you and i'll try and answer them as quickly as possible but i just wanted to give another face to the program or to the process of getting into the program and like i said brie and family she goes into way more depth and she takes it step by step like as it was happening to her which i thought was like really cool um i kind of am not i'm not patient like that i would have been freaking out so i decided to go ahead and throw in my two cents like i said and so yeah that is pretty much it like i said any questions or anything um just let me know and i'll get back to you as quickly as possible you know have a good one